it's bullet somewhere around right here, I think. Because this one went all the way through. Wounds that will last a lifetime for 16-year-old William Jones after the mass shooting at Logan Square this past summer. I got shot in my arm, both my legs, and my side. William was one of five young victims shot that night in July. City officials say it was a party at Logan Square that spilled into the parking lot, which led to shots fired. I was just with some friends and... I was talking to some girls, and then, uh, next thing you know, people just started shooting, and everybody all running and stuff, and then I, I hit the ground, like, like, my vision was blurry, I hit the ground, and then next thing you know, I just couldn't move my legs. From there, William says a good Samaritan stepped in to save his life. I, I yelled help one last time, then a lady came, she... Help, she like started grabbing my arm and like putting pressure on it or whatever. And she kept asking me uh, my name and then uh, my favorite color. The scene was cleared within hours, but the aftermath for William was tough. Shot nine different times. He was forced to spend 21 days in the hospital and 30 days in a rehabilitation center. They had to perform two surgeries to stop the bleeding. Uh, and like he said, he still has two bullets in his body. They were able to remove one from his spine, but like we were, we were just so worried about losing him. He was so young. Since the shooting, the city has taken legal actions against the owners of Logan Square, such as taking away the cabaret license and enforcing more safety measures at the location. But William and his family still have high emotions because no suspect or suspects have been charged for the shooting. And they have one message for those responsible. Put the guns down. It's not worth it. It's innocent people getting hurt for no reason. Now such a sad story. Now gun violence continues to take a toll on the community here in Lansing. And on Monday, a 30-year-old man was killed after a shooting on Cedar Street. A day later, a 33-year-old man was killed on Alpha Street here in Lansing. And so far this year, 14 people have died after being shot in the city. And in 2022, there were 13 gun-related deaths. And in 2021, there were 23. Now, as always, if you have any information on any shooting here in Lansing, you're being asked to call the Lansing Police Department at the number on the bottom of your screen. And remember, you can always remain anonymous. For now, reporting here on the south side of Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace.